ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to start with an incredibly important announcement for you all. It's Friday. Congratulations, you've made it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning, and welcome back to... Uh, let's see. I'm going to say a funny... Diablo 5. Now it's Pacific Drive. Good to see everybody here. Welcome back. One's in the chat. Chat where you at for the number one community out there. Good to see everyone here locked in and ready to go again on a beautiful Friday. And uh, we're going to hit the road again there, brother. So good to see you all here. Hope you've all enjoyed your day so far. And uh, just getting started for me. So let's get started with Pacific Drive. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Alloy and Jay. Hello there, Christian and Hosa. Good to see uh, Smoke Eater back in the chat again. Good to see you. Gabriel, Alvin, not interested. Good to see you as well. Uh, Freak PC, hello. Hi, what's up? I like lakes and illusion 70. Hello, Twitch chat. Exclamation point. Twitch, by the way, if you're not yet subscribed over there. And thank you very much to uh, uh, Molly Mall for becoming a 11 month Bear Cub member. Wow, dude. Thank you very much for 11 months um, as a member. Smacking that join button. Thank you guys for all your Twitch follows, your uh, Twitch bits, your uh, Twitch Prime subs, and 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 t like some people got tier two, tier three subs, tier one subs, and uh, thank you very much for becoming members on YouTube as well. Uh, let's see. I think that. Oh yeah, perfect. It works. Good. Let's hit the road again, there, brother. I don't remember. Uh, what our plan is today, but we did get authorization now to, uh, or we found a way to get deeper into the zone. But we, uh, of course, probably want to upgrade the whip a little bit before we do that. So, uh, what do we got here? Ooh, some rain coming in. Oh, yeah, we got a little insulation here. A little lead plate uh, panel. I'm assuming I can't put that in there, too. Of course. God. I'll find out something to do with this later. Let's enjoy the rain for a second. Wow. This game is pretty. Wait, what? COD servers crashed today worldwide, reset to level one? No way. I think weren't Dirty and Lumberjack last night playing Warzone? No way. No way. What's up there, Thunder Shaker? Salute to you as well, Silver Snake. Good to see you. Locked in, ready to go. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, we need marsh eggs. We did find two. We're probably going to have to go further into the zone for some of that stuff. Ooh, 9.5, though, on the points. All right, let's get the car offloaded. I think we... Did we or did we not do that? Nothing like working on the car, though, on a rainy day like this. I wish we could close the door. Is there a way to do that? It'd be nice. We have two quirks. We'll work on those later. All right. Um, man, did we load up with stuff. Wait until you see the thunderstorms in Red Dead 2. Really? Okay. Now I'm excited again. Well, I always was. All right. Let's offload stuff. Paint and cosmetics. Burn, oh, burn. Place needs fresh air, leave the door open. All the fumes, man.
Bow, bow, bow. What's up, devilish? Hello, Alvin, over on Twitch as well. Sneaking back and forth, I see. God. God, we brought so much stuff. Wow. What didn't we bring back? Everything but the kitchen sink. Our last few runs have been so successful for material. Crazy. All right, so clearly we're going to have to upgrade storage. Let's start with that. Looks like there's lots of storage options, so they really imply for you to have a lot of storage. Yeah. It goes all the way across there. Mighty fine storage right there. You know, maybe we could make that for tools. Intended storage for the car, maybe? We'll make that storage for us. What car is this? I don't know. Chat, what, what car do you think they... Mo I'm sure it's like a couple different modern station wagons. Or, well, I mean, existing real-life station wagons. Anybody got an idea? Gotta be a little Ford in there. I don't even know. I don't even know who the hell made Station Wagon. Probably everybody. They were that popular. I think we should break these light bulbs down. Doing a little housekeeping now. A little housekeeping. A little Volvo, maybe. Yeah. back for those two. Grab the light bulbs. I don't even know if we can make these. I'll check. We got the dumpster pearls too. A Chevy Citation. Wait. They called a car a Citation? Like, is, isn't that what you get like while you're driving? Like a ticket? That implies like bad vibes. Well, apparently the station wagon's year is an 83, but that doesn't mean it wasn't inspired by something from like, I don't know, when the last time they made station wagons, may maybe up to include in the late 90s. I mean, there certainly were versions of it. In a way, maybe they got bigger. It was like, hey, don't buy these station wagons. They're too big and dangerous. Buy this minivan. Like, um, hmm. What's up, Cap Cap? Friday's going good. Yeah, Volvo for sure. Why does it keep doing that? 
Okay. Cleaning out the old inventory today, trying to get some things organized. Now that we got more sp uh, space. Buick Estate. Oh, right. Wait, there's an interview on how they developed the game? Oh, man. we Remember how we recently did a stream just kind of chilling and watching the uh, Last of Us documentary? We, we should do one for this game. I, if they put in a lot of great work to a documentary, I, maybe we should start watching some of those because it's amazing to see how they make games and like what inspired what. Because sometimes people will come in and they'll be like, dude, this game is exactly like that other game. And it's like, oh. And, you know, if we go watch a documentary and be like, and the devs will be like, yeah, we got inspired by, uh, we were inspired by Solitaire. Like, oh. I uh, recently started the game and I noticed the drop pots also spawn when you have the, uh, the timeout yellow storm covering. Oh, yeah. Is it's approaching? Yeah. Correct. Astute observation. All right, we got all this lore, but this could go into the fax machine, so we could probably get rid of it. We might need... I, I don't know if we need the lore, but the fact that they made a specific station for it might be important. I really don't want to waste my points on lore at the moment, but... All right, a lot more space. Have I tried the uniform? No, I I don't know. That's kind of like a a work of art now. All right, so this will only be things that we can repair the car with, or health, or things that we'll bring along with us, or both. Oh, can we upgrade the station wagon crafting to tier two? Um, we'll check that in a little bit. Hey, what's up, Boothris? Trying to figure out where the hell that noise is coming from. It's coming from the vacuum. Maybe to let you know there's stuff in there? You're swinging by as you try not to work? Ah, oh, yeah. Always feel welcome to swing by chat loves you so do i hope you're uh, gonna have a good start to your weekend man uh the model station wagon used was the 1989 buick lesabre station wagon posted a pic on the discord for you well thank you man vehicles used to be made of that stuff that comes from uh we would dig it out of ground and we would melt it into stuff. Oh yeah, metal. Remember that? You guys remember when things were made of metal? Wow. I remember. Uthras is in a good mood. Guys, he's been painting a lot on... Uh, Uthras has been uh, painting... A lot of cool stuff. And uh, we're going to go to Japan this year. It's about 98% confirmed. And I think he's getting ready to paint some cool stuff in Japan. Last time we were there, he 
did some stuff in pen and paper. You, I, I don't know if you ever put that up, but you should you should definitely put that up too. I want to see that. He uh, did like I, maybe a little bit of Osaka Castle, a little bit of Himeji. Pretty cool. Went to three million um, Taito game stations, and then uh, and then just grapes. We should have called our last tra uh, last trip. Holy crap! Is that a Taito game station? Let's go play Warship Girls. Goodbye outside. That was too long of a title though. Ooh, that is looking rough. Wait, she wants us to get there, but how? Uh, the mid-zone crossing. Get through the expansion wall. You've already explored the outer zone at this point. Now it's time to cross into the mid-zone. Now oh, sounds kind of mid. Hmm... Oh, is this... Wait, is this actively moving in real time? Is in-game, I think... Isn't time moving in-game? Yeah, in upper right corner, 4.36 p.m. Wow, no way. So these storms may be actively moving. I don't think they'll move away, but... Where the hell she wants us to? She obviously wants us to go there, but I don't know how to get there. Oh, do we have to upgrade the? Um, we might need to upgrade the tower so we can make three jumps, but we might need to do that. There's a garage down there, I think. Are this? The same storms for everyone. Hmm. I mean, maybe. I guess it depends on how many times you go out. The game might... I think that's all randomly generated based on where you went. Well, we can upgrade the improved antenna. Integrated thermosap heat sinks allow for the antenna to be activated multiple times before overheating. I don't know what that means. Hmm. It's actively tracking the time, too. Ooh, I didn't realize. Is this game a one-to-one? -one? That's amazing. This game's a one-to-one. One, one minute IRL is one minute in-game. Wow. So if you spend an hour in an area, it could, it could possibly become daytime. Unless it does some sort of, oh, weird time compression just to speed up things, which is fine. Uh, we gotta repair the car too. We ain't going nowhere any fast. But uh, I'm just trying to see if like the weather actually moves. I don't think it does. Oh, let's go to dumpster friend. Let's get the car ready, then we'll figure that out. Are the zones randomly generated? Uh, yes. Kind of. Yeah, that was a medical bag there. What? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, <clears throat> all cleaned up. We still have stuff in the car, jeez. Well, we need this electric uh, electrician's kit to fix some stuff. Junker steering wheel.
Oops. All right, let's fix that damn lighting issue. Whoa, man, whoa. Crippin', man, whoa. Oh, you have the same ones? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, maybe these are based on story areas. I think... Isn't that Sirium up there? I don't... I'm not sure. I thought it may be based on time, but maybe it's based on story. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. All right, we'll do car upgrades later. Uh, let's do... So we've offlo offloaded our crap. And thank you very much, uh, Christafari, for the 33 months, man. Damn. Thank you. Does my airbag have herbal plants? What? Oh, paints. What? Wait, what? Art bag. Oh, you're talking to Uthras. <laughs> I thought it was an airbag. My bad. Oh, let's, uh, I don't know what else to expect, but I'm going to hold, I'm going to basically assume that we're going to have encounters with more electrical thingies. So let's get the car fully insulated. We just got to make two more panels, it looks like. Oh, and the bumpers. Unless we can do lead now. Well, let's start with these. Because we might not be able to get lead yet. As in, um... We might not be able to do the full upgrade. We might need different type of energy that we haven't gotten yet. Let's check. So we can get lead panels. Can't get lead bumpers. Lead bumper takes on stable. Haven't gotten that yet. Oh, I think we can do panels and doors. Yes. Hmm. Your car just took off its handbrake and rolled away. I've had that happen. <clears throat> yep. Oh, dude. Oh, the back panels are great. Now, see, that's a little misleading because that shows the lightning rod as if it's going to, like, gather the electricity. Looks sweet, but it's more of a protection thing rather than gathering. I wonder if you get any bonuses for a full completed set. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what the insulation protection is. I don't think it'll tell us. However, this might tell us, though. Where did I put that armor piece in the door? Oh, yeah. Car looks absolutely awesome. I agree. Uh... Oh, we still got crap to put away. All right, let's get the MREs out of here and flares. Oh, is it still in the back? Nah, thanks, Chad. Thank you. You guys are the best. Oh, yeah, we're going to do the back bumper. I 
I'm still confused why they did this. Like, <clears throat> parts that you can find out in the field, you can't repair. Like, the special ones. Like, I, I don't know. You can't use repair putty. You can't put in the repair thing. I don't know why. That says 30%, 45%, but I don't know what that means. Maybe it's in the logbook? Uh. Oh, there you go. Uh, health 60, radiation resistance 30. So I, I think because this one's special, this one's 30 plus an additional 45. Because it's got the little star next to it. So 30% radiation re protection if we get the uh, regular panels. Is the drive different with uh, different paneling? I, I haven't really noticed the car handling differently except for with like damage. I don't know, maybe we'll go insulated for this one. Although, you, you guys are totally right, we should do a... Like, what I really want to do... Is make a, uh... Like the car we had at the, uh... The end of our last, you know, at the demo series, where we had the uh, ion shield. We might be able to research that. So we might be able to get the ion shield plus the insulation for when that fails. And we're wearing, I think this should count though, because, you know, if the car gives us 30%, the suit then gives us four, oh, that's, um, we have another 40% protection because we have the lead-lined lab coat on. We'll see. Okay, so now we have a full, ins dude, look at how damn cool the car looks. That's incredible. That's amazing. Look at that. Also, I think we can get insulated uh, headlights, but it takes a different energy, I think. Let's take a look. We don't have that unlocked. No. Insulated will take one KLM or KLM. Ah, annoying. Health 60, electrical resistance 50, blocks charged attacks. It has a little bit more health. The reinforced headlight has 50% uh, physical resistance to damage. Which is good because we're always plowing into things in the front of the car, but we need a different energy for that. And I feel like the headlights are mighty important. Certainly an upgrade I think we should get. Let's uh, before we do that, let's load the car up and and think we're gonna think, think. We're gonna do some thinking. Okay, let's put all of our car stuff in the front. Passenger side. I think I can take those. There's also another quirk, but I haven't figured out what it is yet. Uh, 
Uh, we'll have to randomly find it, I think. Oh. Painting makes it so much better. We can paint it. Also have to scan the tour bus anomaly. Yeah, yeah. If we come across that, absolutely. Yep. Undo 10. Okay, we got Leica in there. Oh, there's the good old high-tech steering wheel. That thing looks like death. You know, like, you hit something, you go and die. I like the reading rainbow. Horse girl. Yeah, we need more stickers. Stickers are cool. Fl flex tape is the final upgrade, yes. I like how it spits out the box, being like, hey man, don't forget to take your stuff. You know what I would also like for the vacuum too would be maybe some sort of a, a light that flashes, just to remind you if you have stuff in there, because you know there's players losing their stuff, because they just, they, they don't know, they just don't know about it. Alright, I want to do the, the fax machine upgrade, I want to do the... Um, like headlights and stuff. I, I like I don't want to spend my points because I don't know how th stuff works and it's hard to get those points. Not hard, but you know, it just takes hours. I think I'll take that. Um all right, let's do this. We're gonna do a little cheese. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy the fax machine upgrade and see what happens when we do that. And if it sucks or is dumb, we'll re reload the save so we don't waste the points. Because some things are just a vague explanation, like, it does stuff. Like, yeah, every stuff does stuff. Um, what the hell is this? Limb pulse emitter. Oh, I know what that is. That's protection against the damn bunnies. But you gotta put it on the bumper. Okay, let's get the fax machine. Just the fax, ma'am. Okay, we need to make a circus, circus board. Is the fax machine just a info provider? Maybe. We might need to hold on to that lore. Maybe not, but I would hate to like get rid of it and then it it give us some sort of bonus that we miss. Do we just need one? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like the detailing cabinet, but it also stores the lore. But essentially what we're doing is we're buying inventory space as well. But the computer does list some very weird stuff from time to time. I think this might just be... Some sort of a system that all the survivors in the zone have kind of figured out how to communicate via essentially email. Like in Fallout. Uh, milk never curdles in the zone. In the zone, in the zone, in the zone, in the zone. Yeah, okay. This might be something that's cool, but maybe not necessary.
And I like the lore in this story, so we gotta collect more lore. This might be a main quest item later, like maybe there's something we need to do with Tobias and Francis to get a schematic or something and they'll fax it over. That's funny. At the bottom it says press A to view logbook, but then it just takes it into your inventory. So essentially, I don't know if we need these things because they're all listed here. In, uh, in these sections. Whatever. You know, honestly, we should, um, we should build all this stuff. To be fair, I think we want to keep playing this game for a long time, so... You've got mail. Right, Tom Hanks is going to email us. Um... Yeah, we want to build all the stuff, right, guys? Alright, let's plan for our uh, excursion. Mm-hmm. Ah, the Liberator. This will allow us to take parts with us. I think the insulated headlight's a good call. Oh, I need tier two workbench. Oh, can't make that. We need to get on stable energy, so we can't make the insulated headlights. Not yet. Putting tin foil around a light bulb is too complicated. <laughs> We could throw on a roof rack, but we don't have anything to go on the roof yet. Maybe the extendo battery? I have a feeling they're going to require us to... Uh, that's probably going to take some corrupted energy or something. Leak resistant battery. Oh, our batteries can be like drained. And then that engine, I don't know if we can, I don't think we can make that engine. There, there's a new engine, but we need 42 of these. Um, we'll need to see how many we have, but this thermo sap stuff. We need 42 of these to upgrade the engine. Well, we got, what, 29? More stuff in there. Paint, of course. Hmm. Well, I think the tour bus is really for getting a ton of those.
I will put car parts in there for now. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you want to do tie dye colors for the car? Smart. Oh, you got two light bulbs in your last mission? Light bulbs are a good find. Light bulbs are a good find. All right, let's get ready for adventure. Joyous Friday, yes. A joyous Friday to everybody. Now, apparently there's a competition going on too, Chad. I'm going to need your help, by the way. Apparently, the developers are fi trying to find YouTubers with good voices who sound like they belong on the radio uh, to make a custom bobblehead in the game. For them. If fans clip, if you click that little scissors button on YouTube or if you do the clip thing on Twitch and send that to their Discord and like their funny moments section, if you take your funniest moments from us playing this game, they may contact me to be like a voice actor in the game. Now, I'm no surprise, uh, no, uh, no newcomer to voice acting in video games. You may remember me in Dave the Diver. Uh, yeah. I have a character in Dave the Diver, Gas Station, there's, there's many, many places that we show up in. So yeah. Can it be on YouTube? I thought it was just Twitch. I, I, I would think both are acceptable. I mean, if someone took a Twitch clip, uploaded it to YouTube, and then linked them, it's kind of the same thing. So regardless, when something funny happens, do me a big O favor and clip that. Something we just recently found out about. So, it's a it's a new contest for the um, for the release of the game. So, if you want to uh, clip funny moments, that would be great. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. So we might end up in the game. I might be on the radio. All fill with fuel. What's up, SCP? Hello? Anything from the dumpster? Nope, all done. Okay, I think cleaning and organization is done. Now, I think we'll go with what we did. That shows an arrow going there, but I don't know what the hell that means. Like, that's not our end goal. I want to go there. Oh, that cat that costs a scanner charge. Okay. Hmm. Arrows are the road leading off of a location. Hmm. Excuse me. Eh? 
All right, let's fix up the car. We need a lot of Bondo. Uh, what's the address to their Discord? Uh, can you search for it through Discord itself? You might be able to type in like Pacific Drive Official through Discord and find it. Or just go to their Twitter. Alright, so Morgan's in charge of that. marsh eggs for these things. So I guess we have to get to that zone then try to drive across the... like drive through the wall somehow. We gotta do that. Uh, do swamp bunnies give marsh eggs? Um, good question. damage is all right it'll buff up okay um paint before we go all right Street 5.5 patch. Wow. 
You know, you guys were telling me about a Manor Lords uh, trailer the other day, too. Like, there was a new trailer out. I watched it. It looked exactly like the trailer we covered last time. I don't. I, I didn't see anything different at all other than that it was just, like, newly uploaded to somewhere else. I'm going to have to watch it again because I didn't see anything new on it. Oh, wow. Personal methods of creation expansion are highly encouraged. Good. All done. Yeah, yeah. Now, I would put the camo on, but I honestly don't know if we're going to see it. But we are out hunting for booty. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Morgan. Go ahead. You're good. Morgan, this this is your and I personal project, this whole radio thing. You've been uh, recruited now. We're going to get locked in and get in this game. Oh, they changed how decals work. Oh. I don't know if I like that. The camo used to kind of just be a partial... Like it was halfway up the door and it kind of looked nice. This it, this it just kind of covers the whole damn car. Which means why the hell did I paint it then? It this decal goes over the whole thing. That's a waste of orange paint. Can we camo the chassis? No way. Well, alright, they made it a lot easier. Or they gave us more options, which is cool. Damn it, I just want it to be like a strip down the side. I don't want to waste that valuable orange paint, brother. Hey, we got a fax. Sometimes I think it's just safe to assume that things are going through. It may not be the same thing to think, but it definitely helps me sleep at night. Okay. We'll just do orange and then we'll get on our way. I think we're done here. Orange makes it go faster. Maybe we'll try a yellow paint next. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Brown, brown, brown. Brown, 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 brown. What's up, Kyle versus Drywall? Welcome back. Uh, you certainly could do that if you want, Morgan. 
I got a lot of material to work with, and uh, we should share those community moments with everybody in a different format. Your request is approved, Morgan. Good work. That old floral pattern. Done. Uh, deep offense. Thank you very much for the Twitch uh, Prime sub. Exclamation point Twitch, by the way, on YouTube. If you haven't uh, yet followed over there, you can definitely do that. And drop off your Twip, Twitch Prime sub. If you're a Twitch Prime user and you have a Twitch account, you basically have a free subscription over on Twitch that Jeff Bezos doesn't want you to know about. Jeff personally broke into your home and stole it from you. Don't let Jeff get away with it. He's like the Hamburglar, sneaking away. Don't let him get it. Take back what is yours. And if you don't have one, make one. Twitch is a pretty good place, too. Less ads sometimes than YouTube. Yeah, this box is always here. It's our little... It's a way to get stuff out of the car. Pretty nifty. Okay. We're going to take three med kits. A, another crowbar. And I think we'll continue on with the main story. As we proceed out on this dark and stormy night. So we got to go here and then drive there. So this is going to be a three thing journey. Plus we have to go through a super dangerous storm. Awesome. Oh, and look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. It's got that thing again where if we get hit by electricity, we like zoom forward. Oh, do I hate that. Get ready to clip. Get ready with your clips. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like we could possibly go through Echo 7. Are they saying we could go 1, 2, 3, 4? Oh, and there's two anomalies in there we have not recognized yet. A radioactive one there we have not recognized. Eerie darkness. Battery sapping. Oh no, we're going to lose battery power. Uh, hmm. The only other thing I might want is to get the... Pa if we're going to have battery sapping, we might want to upgrade the back passenger seat with an upgraded battery. But I wish this damn game would let us do this, where we could see what was ahead of us. Like, in order to get the battery that sits in the back seat, i got to research the side battery. But I don't know if this battery uses stable energy, unstable, or corrupt. Hmm. 
Don't let the adventure begin. What the hell? There's like a joystick there next to the TV and now like some file folders. I don't remember that from before. Let's go! Where do they lead? We're about to find out. High instability, check conditions. Well, to be able to make three, four stops would be amazing. Swift storm. We should be able to go one, two, three, and then four. Boop up. Well, that's nice. Where are we at? Mm-hmm. Alright, it's down to one actual proceeding inbound. Ah, the damn bunnies. I'm on it. Hold on. Car, relax. I should have refueled our backup tank before we left. At least we can see pretty clearly. Oh, nice. That bowler just blew up a bunch of tourists. Am I enjoying the game? Hell yeah, I am. Have I scanned the yellow booster orbs? I have not.
Let's go. Yes, fuel tanks are linked. That is correct. What is that? Oh, it's one of those things. Repairs. A beating heart repairs the car. Little windy out today. Little wind, bud. Little windy out there, bud. Sure shooting. The wind also throws off the steering a little bit. Uh, all that's going to blow away. If I loot anything outside, this is going to get blown away. The wind's so strong it pinned me up against the damn wall. Uh oh. Doing it again. There right, we go. You can harvest the mannequins for a resource that makes the upgraded engine. That's great. I'm glad you've been paying attention to the streams. That is the thermosap. And that gets the tier 2 engine at 42 thermostat. That's correct. You can't drive, chat. It's over. We're not going to be able to go anywhere. It's over for us. We're stranded. I think there's a backseat storm blowing through. Now it looks like we're at a, a yellow level. I gotta replace that other back seat. What is this? Oh, that song is so good.
Car, behave. What on earth is going on? Uh, we're in an area that's got a really big, like, windstorm, and it's probably not going to leave. So we got to we got to fight our way through a, a windstorm here. We'll But it's almost, we're almost out of it. We're almost good. I know, that's what I was saying. Sales could, <laughs> sales would definitely be useful here. Yeah, we haven't even ripped off an armored panel from a car yet. We've seen a few squires, but I haven't uh I haven't broken those down yet. It was usually kind of bad timing when we were looking for other stuff. backseat's fine. Look, if people try to mention it to me and I already know that, maybe somebody in the chat didn't, so it's okay. I mean, we played... Look, guys, we played, like, what, 20, 30 hours of the creator demo for this game? We got a lot of mileage on this game. We know our way around, but we don't know everything yet. Not yet. But we know our way around. What the hell's that? Oh, hot dust. tower kind of sucked. Oh my god, what does that alarm mean? It means everything's okay. Cool. Let's make a house here. Wait, did it put my... No, okay, we're good. All right, let's plot a route out of here. So the zone will close from the upper right corner. There might be a drop pod, but since we got to go a long way, I'm not gonna, not even gonna do it. Not today, Satan. Was that somebody stepping on a Lego? Oh yes. Hello. I have apparently damaged my car. Oh. Thank you. That's limb tech right there. Radio frequencies be healing. You know, the zone's not closing that fast, is it? Now yeah, we'll take our sweet time then. Maybe we'll find a van.
That make us go fast. Well, we could go up to this house. No turncoats yet, no. There we go. Hey. We found a few of those armored armored panels before. But unfortunately, we didn't have the time to stop. bit of fuel. Get greedy. Do you work for the bears person? That sounds like someone was paid off by Big Bear to sell more bears. Oh, there's Limtech near us. Oh, no, that's to the south. But there's a house. Name it Christine, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a van. Art a truck. It's an artichoke. Yeah, we played Factorio. That's on the channel. Ooh, another... Oh, it's a crude door. No, thank you. Uh, headlight, no thank you. Pick and choose. There we go. Oh, deposit. I'm still undercover. You blew your cover. We're on to you. You've been found out. Yeah, cotton candy bears like in Nightingale. Mm hmm. So pretty. Yeah, we can keep going. We got a while. Uh, the door, the door leads outside. A second, this is too good to pass up. Yeah, now we're gonna be on the lookout more for thermo sap with the um, with the armored doors because for a while we weren't seeing too many of those. Um, Uh, what are they? Arda invest um, secure the uh, squires, the security cars. Oh shit! My bad, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we're good. I don't see anything. We don't really have all the time in the world at the moment.
Maybe we already went to this tower. We'll know in a second. Yep. Well, probably. Okay. Yes, correct. A weapon known as the Liberator can be shot at doors and uh, various car parts to be taken through. What the hell? Why? Wait, why is that purple? Oh, we're going for that. What if... Oh. No. It's a... It's the frickin' bears. Why is it purple? It's usually blue. I didn't realize that the drop pods could be different... Various types of rarity. Oh my god, to the loot mobile. Oh my god. Out of the way, nature. I'm hauling ass. Oh my god. Hello, loot. Are you here? I'm here to rescue you. Of course you'd be in the giant sizzling mist. Oh my god. Don't worry, my precious. I'm here to rescue you. Off-road tires. Ooh, side fuel tank. Hello, beautiful. All right. It's actually worth it. Mm, radiation only makes me only makes me stronger. Yeah. I wonder if the danger thing is a good thing. And no bear attacks either. Nice try. <laughs> nice try, chat. Now we'll go this way. Back to the road. All right, we're just going to leave. We found so many drop pods in the past, but I, that, that is the first purple tier I've ever seen. That means there could be an orange tier, a turquoise tier, a magenta, a rose tier, an auburn tier, a eggshell white, or titanium white. Imagine this, chat. Imagine. Also, don't these trucks have armor doors, too, sometimes? Yeah. Man, I really want that thermal sap. We've only found maybe like five squires in the whole game. I wonder if another drop pod will come down. Out of the way, people.
Okay, these maps are my favorite, though. The ones where the zone closes real slow. Do I think the color was changed because the newly added personal marker is blue? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they changed some stuff between... There was the content creator demo, which we played, like... 40, 30, 40 hours of some, something crazy. I don't know. And then there was the ri the regular demo. And between those two, I noticed they started colorizing everything and they added a bunch of stuff. They probably already planned to do that. Yeah, this is a PvE game, I guess, but there's not not really direct combat. I mean, kind of. Like, your car can be attacked by those bunnies and then you can attack them with your your blade. And there's guns, and you can shoot stuff. Oh, there's a little healing plant over there. Look at that. Correct. Low, slow closing zone means more time for loot and booty. Time to go. We're leaving. We got plenty of areas to loot. We got like, I don't know, three, three more areas. We're, we're going to run out of space. We can't possibly take everything. All right. Oh, spike puddles are here too. How fun. That was a bad noise. I didn't like that. Limb tech through and through. Oh, another damn storm. All right, we gotta get to the lower right corner. We're in the lower left corner. Looks like the storm's moving northeast.
I see a little uh, research center down there, but... Ugh. Oh, shit. No, damn it, you... F Wow, we almost drove off a damn cliff. Whenever we get hit by electricity, we fly. Already? Well, that's the swift storm for you. Alright, we can't stop. We're leaving. One of the tires is flat. Yeah, you can only drive in first person. Okay, we got out of there. I think we'll grab a couple of anchors on our way out, but we don't need them.
Damn, she's getting up some hills today. Out for a rip, bud. <laughs> now that would be a good open Canada exploration game. Gotta already be it's already gotta be a game. Out for a rip, are you, bud? Stay on the road. No, the puddle. Okay, we're good. Don't have time for that. Oh, freaking purple. Uh. We gotta go too far. I'm not gonna do it. We're going for limb tech instead. I'd go for it if we were like leaving. Like. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not going over there. Whatever that is, I'll find it later. I want to go over there. Okay. It pains me to see that little purple thing on the map. Be like, hey, come over here. Hey, kid, you want some candy? Nice try, bears. The first one's free. The first one's the gateway drug. What if there's thermal sap in it? Ah, I can wait. We can get we can get that a few places. Alright, this map wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be way worse. So it looks like there's some stuff down there. Now we got plenty of time here. I'm not going to go for the lead, though. We'll go for quick loot. Is that a shipping container? It is.
Tee hee. TV. Barn over there. Barn's worth it. You'd be panicking, but I'm so calm. Yeah, once I realize the speed of the storm, we've got this under control. We've got about maybe three minutes until we have to leave. This feels like when you're, um, you ever do a lay layover on a flight and your layover is like an hour? And that doesn't seem like a lot of time, but it is, but it isn't, but it is. And then you're like, dude, if I don't rush, I'm never going to make my flight. And then you make it to the other gate, and then you realize you're... Oh, somehow you actually went back in time. <laughs> and you're at the gate five minutes before your flight landed. Like, wait, how did I do that? It's like that. You have more time than you think. Looks like we're going to need some repairs, boys. All right, let's beat it. Let's just get out of here. Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave. The lead is actually tempting. We do have a little bit of time. We have a little bit of time. <laughs> Time in airports is its own thing, yeah. How does the car environmental shielding work? Well, like if you've insulated your car for electrical damage, if you drive through something that gives electrical damage, it reduces that. And in some cases, you can harness that energy like a lightning rod. How was that? Yeah, it looks like that one drop pod. I think we we could have probably gone for it. That drop pod. But then, because we have to go to two other areas, I'm just looting on the side of caution. If there's a lot of stuff we could be getting, like rubber from tires and steel from cars, but we don't really need to. got some time to finish repairs. Keep a ceiling kit with us. We already have one, so we got two now. Good. Take the Bondo. Front end damage is just a constant in this game. Like sometimes you just gotta go off road. Sometimes those little trees are just in the way, and you just gotta you just gotta plow through them.
There do be a, a storm coming. Much better shape. Any tires flat? I always re regret not going for those purples, but until we get that lead shielding, it might not be worth the damage. Alright. Blistering Woods. I don't know what the hell Eerie Darkness is. Oh, wait a minute. Is this like extra, extra dark? This might be why we need side lighting and stuff, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. And by getting some breaking gaming news. Okay, cool. Guys, they're making Half Life 3. No, I'm just kidding, I lied. That was mean. What about the side storages? They get damaged? Oh, yeah, yeah. Th they do get damaged. Oh, my God. All right. Well, that's why you want the side lights. Wow, that is super dark. And we went for the brighter nights mode. Wow. All right. Where are we at? Lower uh, left. We want to go... Get through the expansion wall. Wait. How the hell... We hey, Chad, how are we supposed to get out of here? There's no way to drive out. Do we have to pull all the... Do we have to pull all the plugs or what? Because we're supposed to get to the other side of the wall. I'm going to skip all that stuff for now. Back to the base, rewalk to the wall now that the path is open. What? Let's get into this map here. Oh, there's a big town in here, too. I feel like we want more limb tech, really. There's lots of loot, of course, in those buildings, but... Yeah, we're going for the plugs first. We got tons of material at the base, and I want to buy new stuff. Make new stuff. Yeah, fault like yeah, bumping into stuff on the other underside of the car can damage it. Yeah, like you could be thrown up in the air and take like damage underneath. Okay, I'm going. I'm going for the plug first. I want that energy. Yo, firefighter, uh, Emily. Thank you very much for the. Uh, 
YouTube gifted membership. Thank you very much. Let's check this container. This is short and sweet. That was nice. So this would be an example why you want those side lights, is to be able to see more stuff while you're driving. What the hell is that? Oh, hi. Hey, sir. I've already discovered you, I guess. healing thing, but we're kind of good. Those barely heal. Then again, it does the whole car. Maybe it repairs conditions, too, like flat tire, etc. What's up, Boothrus? Good to see you. Well, there's a trailer there, but I'm not going in there now. Okay, let's go to another one. Emily, thanks again for the two. You have the day off. You're watching all day? Well, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for the two dollars. Big O Super Chat from Chat. Thank you. Wrapped your birthday. My birthday is March 23rd, so uh, a month from today. Oh. Battery's dead. We need it to rain. Is that a squire? I think it is. I'm playing on uh, PC, yeah. But you can play this on PlayStation, I'm pretty sure.
Of course. That was a tricky spot to get out of. Okay. Got the plugs for the area. Let's head into town. Be able just to go downhill there. Oh, we got lead. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go. Got some lead. Oh, that looked terrifying on the side of the road. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, gas station. Nope. Well, it's a fence, too. Oh, that's nice, a relatively safe gas station.
fueling up two things there. Ooh, a vacuum? Oh, impact hammer. I didn't even I didn't even log that damn thing. Consider yourself logged, sir. Another gas station right down the street. Truly a land of freedom. Is there a time limit in the zone? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Alex, let me get frustrated. He knows how to push my buttons, but we're friends. For now. Wow, another friendly dumpster. That's nice. Free loot. Raptor, I'm flying to Chicago for the first time for a business trip. Where, what are some good places to eat at? Um, I've been to Chicago once when I was very young. I don't really know much about Chicago. But I do know there's a famous... Um, and I guess it depends on where you go. But there is a famous pizza place called Old Chicago. Wendy's and Culver's. I don't know, chat. Anybody from Chicago or uh, swing by? You thought I'd recommend Wendy's? Well, Wendy's and... It, I mean, you should have Wendy's on the flights. Have the plane th pull through. Give the flight crew, you know, a 10 and just be like, Hey. Can we bring this thing over to a Wendy's? Like, you got it, sir. 10 whole dollars? $10 reduce? There's a pizza place called Uno's? What the hell are these buildings? I feel like these are commercial offices.
These look like stores, but they're just like little houses. No, they're offices. Well, yeah. It should be more of a, like a convenience store or something. They look more commercial. dumpster. That's good. Oh, there's lots of stuff here. Like a little radio tower building. Uno's is a classic? Okay. Well, people know Uno's. At least this area is relatively safe. There's a lot of stuff to see, but this is kind of a meh. Aside from that purple drop. And we can try to see if a house has a garage. No, oh, there we go. Alright, it begins. There we go. Where was that? Like a oh, there. All right, time to consider leaving. That one's easy to get to. Wait, that looks like it's on a hill. Or maybe not? I don't know. Let's go to this one in town, which means we'll drive down here and then drive back to town. That's what we'll do. Upper right corner says mid zone crossing, get through the expansion wall. Like it, it feels like we should be looking for a hole in the wall.
Uh, you've only explored the outer zone. Find a way into the wall. We gotta find a way into the wall. But yet all these routes are blocked. Like, what the hell? I thought we'd come here and just find the wall and then, like, drive through it. Go to the last zone. We're in the last zone. We can't go any further. All I can do now is warp out of here. I'm going to go to this one. Alright, we'll, we'll just drive straight down the road. Okay. Well, we can't plot a route through the wall. Because we haven't found the wall yet. But maybe what we need to do is upgrade our radio tower to tier 2, but... Maybe not? They put a drop pod down. Let's just wait and see if one comes nearby. No, the roads at the top won't let us through because they have a big, like, do not enter sign. I think it would have dropped by now. Alright, whatever. <sighs> no, no. That thing you saw was not Bigfoot. Never was. What? Never will be. Don't let Tobias and Francis fill your head with that nonsense. Uh, big put? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ma'am, I didn't see Bigfoot. Wait. Oh my god, unplayable. We're indoors, and our battery is charging because we have the hydro generator on top of the car. Which leads me to believe that uh, if we went through a tunnel and it were raining, maybe our battery would charge. Maybe the game doesn't detect that. Unplayable. All right, let's take a look at the zone thingy again. Oh, now we can go there. Oh. Okay, so we ha we had to go there once in order to go there. Oh, now we can go to G1. The area has moved. Actually, we can go we can go down here, then to G1, then to G3, and then the gate. All right, so that's how it works. We gotta, I guess, in order to get to the next zone, we have to go to a an adjacent zone. Okay. Yeah, isn't that great? Now the dark area is in a zone or a storm. So that must be permanently dark all the time. So that's what that means, literally. I, I thought 
perhaps before it was just markers, but it looks like there's a, well, there's our garage marker there. That could just be guaranteed gas station all the time, maybe. Increased number of bunnies. This is actual intel. Wait, what the hell? Lady, you're telling me these show breaches in the wall. This whole time we could have just... She's already got these marked. I don't even want to know what the hell that means. Mm -mm. Oh. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. man what the hell is that? Uh oh. They're getting attacked on the moon. Hey, 14.9. Glad we got all those upgrades. Good. Very good stuff. Okay, so now we can get through the wall. Let's offload the car. Uh, I guess we'll do the vacuum and get our thing. Yeah, we can get more car storage. Personal storage is upgradable by... Uh, this thing you can you can make better backpacks and stuff at the uh, at the uh, bench. Okay, so oh, one of the storage things uh, broke. No, we're, it's right here. Side fuel tank. Don't know how I feel about that side fuel tank. I feel like we would just scrap this. Why is it so special, though? I do like how we can find stuff that's better than stuff that we can craft, because that makes it extra special. Maybe it just has higher health or something. It's probably got a little higher durability, high, a little higher um, capacity. But if you use that stuff, you, c you cannot repair it at all. So it's like if it's close to dying... It's just gonna, it's just gonna die, which kind of sucks. All right, all right, let's offload stuff. Get this thing situated. Okay, so pull all that out. Yep. Throw that in there. Yeah, you can use, um, actually we did have a way to recharge our battery, this thing, the battery jumper, but, uh, we made it without it, so, it's okay. Well, let's see what this gives us. Lots of metal. And plastic, too, which looks a little bit like Lego, in a way. Those one-by-one -one pieces with the square back. Yeah, I think we should get that lead acid battery now, yeah. We're going to definitely do that. A little battery upgrade wouldn't hurt. Do a little, uh... Alright, we should go dumpster diving, yep. Yeah. yeah, we did a couple Lego streams. The only other set I think I'd, I'd want to assemble on stream at the moment would be the... the blacksmith one. And at the time it came out, it was like, you know, super expensive. I mean, it still is, but...
If we do live Lego builds, chat, what I think I would like to do is buy a little laptop and a nice little table and set up a nice little, you know, crafting area and then uh, actually, like, do it right. Which would be super cute. Okay, so... Wait, we're full. You did a Lego 007 car? Oh, they have that? Cool. Alright, we're out of space. But, we'll put this here for now. We'll come back to it in a minute. Let's get that battery upgrade. That'll be a thing now if we're going to go through the dark areas. Lead acid battery. High capacity battery. Leak resistant battery. Oh, scan a spike log. Oh, I haven't met that yet. I don't think I've seen a spike log. Mini turbine and solar panel. Nice. Okay, let's uh, craft that seat thing, the, the battery. Wait. Hold on. Does this replace that? I think that's new. I don't think we were able to craft that in the demo. No, we can't change that. We gotta make a new seat thing. Or rather, buy one. Gotta buy one. Gotta buy one. I thought it came with the whole thing. There we go. Oh. How's that thing doing? Undamaged, good. Nice. So we got an extendo battery. Oh, did the hood open? No, I did that, okay. Like, oh, do we have a quirk? Well, we have quirks, but I haven't been able to figure out what they are yet. Must have something to do with the dome light. All right. With the circuit board, we can get an improved antenna. I don't know if I want to do that yet either. down like crazy out there. Okay, let's save real quick. If we go here, we're going to have to teleport back, right? Because what would happen is we would go here, and it would be a dead end. We could teleport back, and then we could go there again, and then drive through. I think that black arrow means that it unlocks it for future travel, but we can't go there now. Only when we have the solid 
white line. So that, that black pulsing thing means that we can, it'll be an unlock for a, ne a, a next trip. So we could go, we, we could go straight there, get some stuff and evac. Like we could just straight up just go for the plugs and teleport back and not even loot. And then we could do the main journey. We could do. I don't know if I want to though. No, nah, I think it's the same story up here. Yep. So the... So this one, junction E4, would lead to Echo 1. So that would do the same. And going here to Foxtrot 3, that would unlock Foxtrot 2, which is a dead end. And same here. Leads to that one. I don't even know why the hell they put the dead ends in there. Yeah, we can always go back to other zones that we've been in. Okay, let's get rid of the... Electrician's kit for now. Flare gun as well. I want the scrapper. We can make... Uh, that one will probably break. We'll take an extra. Unless we have one. I don't know if we have one. Not back seating's fine. Chance is trying to advise, but uh, okay, because we we know most most things in this game, but not everything. And okay, we need to boot some of these things around. Uh, again, I think there needs to be a, a patch or an update where the game will move stuff around to fix any sort of empty space that can be filled. Do another extendo locker. Ah, oh, cost two. Well, we're only gonna get more stuff, so. And they literally have four more tiers of uh, upgrades, so. I don't know how I feel about this outside storage. I feel like everything's gonna get wet. You know, often it rains here. It's like every t 15 minutes. Like Gothenburg weather. Don't like the weather? Wait 15 minutes. You have to barely be like that. It do. I'm going to take all these perps. I'm taking all the perps out. I'm putting all the, the scrap metal out there. I'm going to put that outside. Store me outside. How about that?
<laughs> Outside equals sus. I don't like it. There. And I think we had sheet metal too. Somewhere. Maybe I put that in the big one over here. You hope this game allows modding? That'd be amazing. That'd be really cool. Uh, maybe I used all the sheet metal. So, this game needs two things. One, an auto-arrange where it makes more space. And two, <clears throat> like an auto-organize or whatever. Yeah, a sort button would be nice. Kind of, sort of. Okay. Is this empty? <coughs> no. Alright. So the car is done for now. Let me bring a little... Another thing of... Uh, let me make one bondo for the car to, to go. And we'll make two bondo. For repair. That's about right. Okay, so we got a three stack of Bondo, some extra food, Extendo health kits. We can take that and put that in storage. Two extra flares. Put health in here. And maybe I'll take the MREs, put them in here. I think they only stacked to five, yeah. We could take a two two stack there. Oh, only one. Oh, that was only nine. Okay. Put health on the top. We'll do a two stack for health kits, two stack for MREs, and then extra there. All right, we'll put the big stuff at the bottom, all the ma random kits here on the top. And all that stuff there. Much better. Nice. Alright, we got a lot of points to spend. One, can we upgrade the workbench? No, we need unstable energy, so we gotta get through the wall. Can we upgrade the antenna? Yes, we can do that with a circuit board allows the antenna to be activated multiple times before overheating I think it means we can plan out routes before we actually take them a little bit better a lot of this stuff is starting to take new energy I 
A new energy type we don't have. Light replacement kit. That seems good. The Liberator. I'm going to make one of those. <laughs> Why is the circuit bored? Because it's not subscribed to the channel. It hasn't yet followed and turned on the notification bell and all that stuff. Roof rack later. Man, that bumper might be good for getting rid of those damn bunnies. But typically, it's good to just scrap them. Mm. Alright, let's make the Liberator. Oh, can I get the electric electrician's kit? Okay. I didn't see that before. Liber the liberator for liberty. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, there was the damn electrician's kit. Thank you. It's up there next to the light bulb. Nice. That's going to be a good one for curing quirks. Love that, love that. You think I should put it on the rear bumper, the, the one that stops the bunnies? Uh, Alright, I'll do it. But only if chat puts a smiley face in the chat. I just want only one smiley face. Too many, and that'd be spamming, and that would be bad. And the police would show up, and then the stream would be over, and we'd go to streamer jail. Uh, let's see, limb pulse emitter. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. The generator makes it extremely difficult for the most organic and electro-organic entities to hold on to or harm the vehicle. That means we might encounter more than just the bunny. This thing looks freaky. I love it. I think we put this thing on our car before. Yeah, that's probably a better back bumper thing, because if we put that on the front, we're going to plow into everything with it. Alright, we'll take the insulated bumper and put it in Sturge for now. Not a big deal. Cool. Damn, look at this thing. Got LED... Uh, dude, RGBs, LEDs, AFKs, BFDs, KFCs. Crazy. <laughs> BVDs, DVDs, VHSs. Side lights? Uh, if I get side lights, I have to take the luggage off, and I kind of want my Extendo loot storage. Just in case. We tend to lean towards um, goblin mode. AARPs, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can get a roof row. Is that not repairing the tower? Oh, yeah, barely. BFF is, yeah. OMG, my BFF Jill. Alright, let's see before we go out into the old wilderness. Oh, roof mounted light. Yes, we can get a roof mounted light. That is true. However, I don't know if we can actually get it at the moment. that be under Here? Well, there's an extra large roof battery. I don't see a roof light. We have a battery for the roof. Hey, what's up, Harry? Welcome aboard, dude. Put roof storage and side mountain lights on the side. Is there a roof storage? Well, let's go through everything. Garage, refine, survival tools, light. Oh, lights. Let's let's check lights. There's an auto tracking spotlight. Oh, that is definitely going to be. I guarantee this roof head floodlight is probably going to take unstable energy or something. Let's do this. I, I, we, I really wish the game would show us how many points something took before we researched the thing before it. I'm going to save and then we're just going to do this to know the value. So there's the side floodlights. I just want to know if I can get this thing now, otherwise not invest in it. Okay, yeah, it takes unstable energy for the roof floodlight. So we can't get roof lights until we go to the new area. So now I'm getting a refund. I wish you would just help me. Make me hopping mad. All right. But maybe later. We get, we don't have to spend all our points either. We can save them for the next run. Uh, tardigrade count stable at 100 TPM, starting the experiment. This is it, people. A new chapter in the history of science. I guess that does give you lore every time you load in or get back to the garage. Very minimal lore, but yeah. All right, I'll make one more bondo and fix the uh, side things, and then we're out of here. Yeah, COD has now reset every account. Yeah, uh, that's what people were telling me. Like there was some sort of glitch or something? Boy, how are they going to deal with that with all the people who paid for premium stuff? I'll have to look in to see what happened.
Oh, you got two new faxes and couldn't figure out how to read them both? That might be a glitch, because at the bottom here, I don't see a way to actually re like filter through them. This might be a required mission thing later. I don't know. Yeah, we could get the radar. Or can we not get it? Hold on. No, we can't. Not yet. Unstable energy, so we can't get that yet. We did get it before, though. In the demo, we got the ion generator and the resource uh, radar. So you can actually put two things on the roof. There's like this... When you put stuff on the roof, there's like this lower section of the roof here. And then there's like the taller section here. So that's cool. Oof on the roof. What game was reset? I don't know. People in chat are telling me that progress in Call of Duty was reset, but I don't know what that means. Is that like the current war zone? Is that all of Call of Duty ever? I'd, I'll have to look into that. I don't know what that means. I have yet to research. Hey, look at that. We doubled our battery capacity. Yay. Oh, hold on. Well, we already know one of the quirks. We must have got that in the dark area, and I didn't notice it because we didn't have the headlights on. Well, we could fix this one right away. So, when... Steering wheel... Stays turning. Headlights dim. Yay. Light replacement kit. Pff, okay. Boom. Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 accounts were reset. Wow. People will be mad. All right. So we found our way into the wall, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much. Now we can go. Yeah, I get that quirk a lot. Like, I, I leave the garage and it's just like, oh, dude, lights are dimming again. Oh, it's pro progressing progress from being tracked? Okay. Let's go, brother, brother, let's go. Yeah. Brother, brother. So we're going to go to G1, then G3. Oh, God. Not only is that dark, but also high in stability. Fun. All right, we'll just go. Uh, should we go just straight to e, a G1, maybe? Wait a minute. Didn't I scan this thing? The one thing that says not is not recognized. That's the uh, service station. We scanned that, didn't we?
I sure as hell scanned one of those, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and apparently I haven't scanned the videotape thing yet either. So for lore. You think that's the anchor device? Oh, maybe. Ah, we could go one, two, three, four. That's a, that's a lot of stuff, though. Heavy fog. Shocking speed. Violent voltage. Ooh. I think that means it negates protection. Ugh. I'm going here first. Go back to Echo 7. We'll take the long way. Dude, it's foggy. You're looking for a crackling something? Oh, you mean uh, sizzling mist, I think it's called. Oh, God. Not today, Satan. Worth it. Oh, there's a sizzling mist and then a crackling something else. Oh. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to go here because apparently I haven't scanned this thing. I'm going to go there to scan that. It'd be cool if scanning stuff gave us like point one limb or something. I'm glad these little clouds don't move around. Don't you do it. Uh, what the hell am I looking for? I've been to one of these. Or is this different? Oh, this is different. This one charges the battery. Charge shop. Oh, oh okay. All right. That's why. Well, that's kind of weird, honestly. Like, I, you'd, you'd think they both would just do the same thing. Like, there's the 
service station that you can get fuel at and it repairs you. This one just charges the battery. Like, can't you just do both at one? I mean, come on. Yeah, we could just swing by here, get the anchors, and then leave. I mean, there's not really... Unless we wait for a drop pod. Beacon is not going... Why is it doing that? It's like putting the marker over there. Waypoint system's broken. You don't want to fuel up charge up system in one? I would. For this game? Hell yeah. Give me a one and done. All in one, one and done, brother. So easy a caveman could do it. Oh, oh. Thank God. Rain cloud angry. Bonsai. If that were a radio, I bet we couldn't have scrapped it. down there and then across the railroad tracks oh my god look at that the key the key chain is falling down rod with the big o 15 brother halfway to 30 it's been a rough month for me but your streams have helped me thanks raptor well i got something else that'll help you we get a big old Lego heart wall in the chat for all of chat, for everybody. It's a Friday, some of you it's a Saturday. Times are tough, but this community's good. Fair, fair, good, fair, very bad, very good. Uh, you guys are good, but this is very bad, very bad, very, yeah, you guys are great. Yeah, good. You guys are good, bad, very bad, very good, very... Look, no matter what happens, we can always hit L and R, and things will be okay. All right, chat? No matter what happens. Okay. I will not speak of that again. Hi, makers of Pacific Drive. My name is Raptor, and this is my application for your contest for both radio personality and bobblehead within the game. 
Thank you very much for considering choosing us for the contest. There you go, Chad. That's the example of a clip right there. <laughs> That'll buff out. That's right. We, we have a shirt for that, by the way, in our merch store. Exclamation point merch if you want to get the That'll Buff Out shirt or stickers. That'd probably be a good sticker to get for your car, especially if you've got, like, an old truck or something that's kind of a little banged up or rusty. You just put That'll Buff Out above the, the little rust patch or something like that, you know? You don't need a perfect vehicle, you know? Sometimes you just need a workhorse, and that'd be a funny uh, funny thing to put on your, your truck or tractor or whatever. Uh, Christy Kutsune, thank you very much for five Tier 1 subs to the Twitch chat. Thank you very much, everybody, for supporting the community. That's very nice of y'all. I love it when... Everybody gets to use those emotes. The emotes are the best. We gotta get even better emotes now. Now that we're on Twitch too, I gotta get some animated ones and maybe somehow work my way up to Twitch Partner at some point. Do something. Thank you guys for watching. Now, where's my car? I've lost the car. I'll never find it. We're gonna be stuck in the zip. There it is. All right, uh, let's go to that guy. Uh, we'll go to the thing. Brother, yeah, 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 yeah. As I've investigated, unstable energy is given when you reach the mid zone. That's what I had assumed, yeah. Three tiers of energy. You got uh, stable, unstable, and corrupt. And so I could only imagine the corrupt energy is uh, within the inner zone, or whatever they may call it. The end zone? Auto zone. So chat, just to make sure we've scanned this holder, let's make sure we do that too. You guys suggested that maybe we could could scan this. Let's try it. Can't scan it. It's unscannable. George B, 39 months, bear cub, one more to go to the big 40. That's crazy. Uh, eventually, we're going to get people in the chat who are going to be like, you know, uh, 50 months, then 90 months, and then boom, we're going to get we're going to get our first hundo months. And it's going to be like, how did you manage to put up with me for 100 months? I have no idea. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn tourists. Can I go... Is this down? Yes. Oh, not this again. We're fine. You love scanning. Scanning's your favorite. You would say that, GLA radar van. drop nothing good I find that w when the uh, tourists drop the thermos app I find that so hard to find I it's like a guarantee if you find a um, uh, uh, like a squat well, any sort of armored panel or door it's like a guarantee Raptor streams are like crack. I hope that's a good thing. Hey, 
Take that Windows 95 machine. Without the super highlighty for the loot, I can't see those saps to save me. Yeah, like I want to turn that on, but just for the... I, I just want to be able to see the thermo sap easier. But it's all good. Il Barnvikis, thank you very much for the nine months as a hatchling. Immensely enjoy your streams. Immensely. Well, thank you. There's no way. I probably walked past ten of them. <laughs> and then, weirdly enough, the flare light comes back and lights up again. Alright, you know what? Forget you guys. I'm leaving. I'll get the thermo sap somewhere else. Toby! 31 months, Raptor Egg. Thank you very much, dude, for the uh, member stone. Member milestone. Which way are we supposed to get out of here? Top right. Uh, yeah, top right. Okay. We'll go to this next thing and then maybe we'll wait for possibly a purple, uh, purple rain, purple rain. Oh, there's another uh, anchor there. Let's go for that. Give me that limb tech, baby. Gonna need some Bondo. Yeah, the whole, like, rolling upside down thing probably was not... I'm not really a mechanic or any auto expert, but flipping car upside down, probably not good for car. <gasps> a van. No way. 
No way. Oh, no to that. Also, some more lore in here. Cosmetic item, the logo. Singly and family. Singly, family insurance. Jeff, thank you very much for your uh, 46 months as a hatchling. I had to read that twice. You don't see my hood ornament? It's a little uh, spaceship. Like a little X-Wing from... It, it looks like... It's like a little bit X-Wing and a little bit uh, Star Fox. These devs are making all the references. Oh, oh, you use the hand vac on those light bulbs and you just get the light bulbs. Oh, really? It'll just suck the light bulbs right out of the socket? That's cool. Did not know that. Yeah, let's get some fuel over here. Got a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Oh, that's a big O extendo pearl. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, we're going for the uh, the anchor, yeah. I want to get some repairs. Where is the? vacuum can be used to harvest unique materials? Really? Oh, I'll have to make a vacuum then. You're telling me more loot? Oh, brother. I underestimated the power of a vacuum. Apparently they can actually do floors too. I had no idea. Oh yeah, Last Starfighter. They do make references to just tons of like 80s and 90s movies. Of course, a lot of the movies of the 90s were also from the 80s too. Like, they'd come out in the 80s and then a few years later come out on uh, VHS. So you could watch all the 80s movies in the 90s too. Well, I don't know if a drop pod's going to drop. Wait a minute. But let's get our... Putty going. When you call on the gate yourself, does it uh, does the storm come in faster? Yeah, pretty much, like right away. The storm will close in on you. In this case, we're not we're just we're not gating out. We're not warping out. We're we're uh, we're passing through. We're not going to use the warp gate. We're just going to drive out of here. Do a little drive through. Okay. Hmm. 
No pod, so I think we'll just kind of leave. It's all good. Some high quality putty, buddy. Oh, we could even go to G9, then to G1, then to G3, then to the zone. Oof. I mean, that's going to be honestly more work than it's worth to go up to G9 in a big O storm. We already got to go through one storm. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to save as much space in the car for the new zone as possible. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, plus I haven't like scanned it, so that'd be bad. Yeah, I remember having to rewind a VHS, yeah. Oh, we just got to do a quick pass-through? This is kind of weird. Wait, this is like the tutorial zone in reverse. Oh, that's exactly what this is. This is literally the tutorial zone. Alright. That rain's charging the battery, too. The Tamikit Brul. Ah, yeah, yeah, blah. Yeah. yeah, be kind, please rewind, yep. Yeah. Huffy T in the chat. What's up, Huffy? Welcome back. Hope all is well. We gotta scan this thing. We're all we're gonna hear some new lore. Chat, get ready for lore. It's a it's a lore. It's a lore thingy. All right, scan, scan, scan. Lore. After the multi-stage evacuation of the Olympic Peninsula's 100,000 strong population, the records get sketchy. Once the region is swept clean of civilian eyes, the flow of information trickles to an eventual stop. Arda has always maintained that the evacuation was done in the name of national security. That there was simply nothing more patriotic than sacrificing your homes with the communists plotting our demise across the atlantic hell yeah brother certainly not because there was any danger from the strange experiments happening inside or situations most unnatural to witness arda kept the wide berth displacing citizens far ahead of the front line so first-hand accounts of things going awry were rare but rumors spread fast 
and everyone has some story about a distant relative whose pet changed in inexplicable ways, or a friend of a friend who followed strange lights into the woods and never returned. Once the civilians cleared out, the ARDA employees moved in. Scientists, officials, support staff, and their families made the Olympic Exclusion Zone home, reaching anywhere from 300 to 1,000 in total at its peak. What any of them were doing in the zone was kept hush-hush, but the population just outside the walls found the secrecy irresistible. Every shipment of raw material, out-of-season weather pattern, and inexplicable light or sound became the talk of the town for the first decade of the zone's existence. Oh, girl, keep talking. No. Come on, there was more to keep telling me more. Okay. More of the zone, auto zone. All right. suddenly become a snow runner. What is that? Oh, that's uh, the landing strip. Gotta get that. That's new. Or airstrip, yeah. Crash pad. Where's the 80s fuzzy dice? Oh, uh, you're not wrong. We should. Well, I guess that'd be an ornament. I, I guess we need to find that. Bobblehead Elvis, wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. You know what we found one time in a gas station, too, during the demo was something called a, uh, like a decal vending It was a slot machine, wasn't it? We only found it once in like the 20, 30 hours that we played, or whatever it was. Why the music stop? I think the song was just over.
Oh, you found one today? Lucky you. Not jealous at all. some more uh, wrappers. Car got yeeted. Yeah, anytime it gets uh, electrified, it'll like haul ass. Even if we put the parking brake on. You thought it was a slot machine? That's what I thought, too. I, c I can't remember. I think so. Totally going to be protected for radioactivity. Yeah, at least the tree was here to stop it, yep. It'll buff out. Alright, now, let's see. We want to go to... I'm going to hit up those. Pass one? No, there should be one more up here on the left, I think. Yep. Oh, great. There's friends inside there. Okay. What does that say? Siriam lost? Get out? Okay. Oh, boy. Is there any quirk that pops up you wouldn't get rid of? 
Wow, if like I shut the door or something and the horn honked, that'd be kind of funny. Something minor like that, although perhaps there'll be some reason to get rid of that in the future. Anything to do with the horn would be funny. Yeah, any sort of like cork that increases the fuel gives me more free loot. I guess anything that would just benefit us, yeah. Alright, there's this thing there. Let's go there. And let's check for a drop pod. Man, this one's going to take a long time to show up. There could be a drop pod that drops all the way out in the wilderness, which is like... And this map actually kind of good, because this is the tutorial map. I played this one many times. Mm, I'll skip that for now. But yeah, this tutorial map's good because it's got a lot of open area, even when it's off-road. this game. Got to bring a pry bar. You think in the mid zone a battery will become a problem? Probably. We shall see. I think we should do what I kind of want to do is just wait and see if a drop pod comes in on this map fairly fairly easy map to traverse get a little relaxed now chat we're gonna chill Every time you hit the horn, the car backfires. That's a quirk? I don't think I've ever heard the car backfire. Well, this zone's actually closing kind of quick. Drop pod would be good. If it doesn't come through, we'll probably avoid the house and maybe stop at the two trailers at the end of the road and then rip and dip.
Standing by. It's a dice roll whether or not it comes down, so it, it might, it might not. You love the windshield wipers? Yeah. What if there's an upgrade? Standing by. I bet you it's, just, it's not going to drop. Is it not moving? Hold on. No, it's definitely moving. But this map is so small and easy and linear that if, it, if anything drops, I want to just go get it. It's gonna drop. I hope it's like a purple. Maybe we'll get an orange for waiting. I saw drop pods dropping in those areas on the map that have red blobs before the storm came in. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. The big, the big storms on the world map. Yeah. I don't think it's going to drop, but the uh, the moment that I just say, eh, it's probably fine, and they head towards the exit, the moment, 
that I about hit that exit and can't stop in time, that's when it's gonna that's when it's gonna hit. That's when it's gonna hit. When it happens, it's when it goes down. Nothing at all? Oh boy. Well, I think we're just going to assume that it's not coming. How does the wind reader and apparatus thing even work inside the car? Eh, it just bounces. It, when the zone starts to close, it just spins around and bounces. What you really got to pay attention to is the alarm that sounds. And then the, um, the yellow thing at the bottom of the car that says... Uh, the screen that says storm warning. Well, we'll do some looting while we wait, I guess. Nothing will probably happen. Was there a drop pod? Lucky. What part of the steps does the water go? Uh, in the way. You should put it in in the beginning. Yeah, definitely the beginning. Oh. Well, for how long are you supposed to keep it in the water? Um, I would say until it's done. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's, uh, until it's done. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I think we can begin to carry our beans to the bone. And then next time. Their cooking advice was to boil an egg until it is a it is done. Okay. is losing its mind, yeah.
few more things. Also notice there's a lot less plasma now. Yeah. No drop pod here. Well, at least we know for next time that like if we come here we can just go right through and that's it. That was it. Alright, so now we got to go back to that dangerous section. And then finally to the wall. So then we're going into the mid-wall section. Two more areas to go, though. But this one we might pass through because it's dark, apparently. All the time. Dark. Oh, this is fine. I wish it would tell me what time it saved and not like what in-game time was. Have we really played this for 17 hours now? No effing way. Hey, more audio lore. Got a big old plug. Uh, lore, a couple of buildings, then exit. Nothing really special here. Any progress on the current level will be lost. Chad, if you save when you're in the, or rather, if you quit while you're on a run, will it, it will load us back here. Not at the garage, right? It'll load us at this spot if we quit. In other words, we won't have to restart the run. We'll pick up from this leg of the of the run, right? Is that is that correct? Says we'll lose progress on the level, but I don't know what that means. So if we quit and reload, will we be back in this area? Will we be back in the dark zone?
Well, let's test something. Just so we know for sure. It said saved in a minute. It saved a minute ago, so let's see. Just want to test. It should be fine. I just want to confirm it though, because the the written language is a little confusing. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, and it changed the map too. Neat. All right, cool. All right, so next time we come in, the map will be, it'll be the, so the area will be the same, but the layout and the loot will be different. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here for now, but I'm going to send you all live to a video right now on YouTube of Nightingale. We're building our base and doing some advanced base build, which you all saw me stream the other day, but now we've kind of completed our base and done some really cool upgrades. So enjoy. It is a rather funny video, and there's a few funny things that happen in that one. So uh, if you enjoy open-world survival crafting, that uh, video should do it for you as well. All right, everybody, I'll be back in a little bit for our next Big O stream today and a little later today as well. So enjoy, and I will see you very soon for more Pacific Drive. Click or tap that link in the chat right now to go to our live video right now, and I'll see you all in a bit. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for being here, and we'll be driving again soon.